So protein therapy is a specific way of treating patients with cancer. It's one method by which you can treat patients with cancer. So there's multiple different ways. You can either operate on patients and surgically remove the tumor. You can use chemotherapy. Radiotherapy is the use of radiation and radiation particles to uh, blast away the cancer um, in some way. And protons is one such particle. You can use electrons and photons, which is the routine method, and that's what is utilized in all of the radiotherapy centers. There's very, there are, um, I would say, um, of the order of 50 to 100 particle therapy centers that treat with fo- protons internationally, whereas um, standard routine radiotherapy is used in uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of centers internationally. So what, what's the benefit of, of using protons? So one of the benefits of protons is the protons stop at a very definite point um, within any medium. So in this case, it would be uh, patient tissue. So it allows you to better understand um, or conform to the tumor uh, or target that you're trying to treat. That means that you can either, in cases, increase the dose of treatment that you're delivering to the patient which potentially improves or increases the chances of uh, blasting away the tumor, or it, uh, in, in, in a sense, it allows you to reduce the secondary effects of radiotherapy, which is potentially you may end up delivering some kind of a radiation dose to healthy tissue surrounding the tumor uh, with other modalities. That's not to say that the other modalities aren't appropriate. They are, they, they are very much appropriate in most circumstances, but uh, protein therapy helps in pediatric cases, for example, who may end up living longer, and therefore the secondary effects of the treatment itself might be much more important to minimize.